Chris Lee comes from the Boston area. He was born in Washington, D.C., and he began his musical passion uh, and career in childhood when he learned he w lived in a musical family, and he learned how to play the trumpet and the accordion, and then turned to his uh, true love of singing and all kinds of music, rock and roll, blues, gospel, and Chris feels that it's in college that he began um, to turn into performance, performing folk music and original songs as a solo performer. And since that point, he began joining bands in addition to his solo work in all kinds of musical genres, including oldies, Celtic, Calypso, soft rock, blues, country, and folk. He has been honored as a recipient of a number of awards for his music from the Massachusetts Country Music Awards Association. And one of those awards includes the seldom awarded Lifetime Achievement Award in 2006. So with that, I look forward to hearing what Chris has to share of his songs of life and um, his stories perhaps as well as we are in uh, the more intimate forum uh, for the next uh, 26 minutes. And please put your hands together and welcome Chris Lee and Karen Sauer up here. Well, thank you for your kindness. Um, I'm, um, I'm sort of an eclectic musician, and I... Uh, I started singing in church. My parents both sang. My mother played piano, and around the dinner table we would do this. And it, on rainy days, my older brother would entertain the school in the cafeteria, just standing there singing a cappella, <coughs> camp camp songs mostly. So I'm going to start this off with a song that I co-wrote with a guy by the name of Teddy Gallagher, and this is about the mills of Lowell. And uh, anybody here ever hear of Robert Hall? Clothing yeah. Yes, it was. Sort of the forerunner of Men's Warehouse and you know, Anderson Little and all that stuff. And there was one in Brockton, and we used to go there once a year, and that was to, on before Easter to get a new outfit. And I had to go one time with my mother, and she shut my hand in the, in the door <laughs> of the car, and it was locked. I never went there again. <laughs> and this is, a, this is a kind of a funny thing. There's a mention of a thing called the Parks Wilson Shearer. It was a huge machine that tore up wool, raw wool, and they, they would weave it into the cloth. And I'll spare you the rest of it. But. Bricks of the mill seemed a thousand years old, but a hundred and fifty was nearer. And I started at seven. Left at 3.30 was a Pax Wilson shearer. This monster machine is a sight to be seen With its huge blades all shiny and sharp And it tears up the wool with a tug and a pull And at times an occasional harp Now the hair on my head was too long, the man said, to be working all day and if the machine gets your locks you'll be in a pine box in a rather funereal way and the very next day the hair got in the way and the monster was reeling me in fingers my bees and to Jesus I please I won't you forget me my sin now I being thin the machine reeled me in and it wove me right into the cloth. I became a new suit, double-breasted to boot, an elegant meal for a moth. So young men, take heed, if the truth be indeed, you be working the monster at all. Wear your hair in a bun and you'll live to have fun, you won't find your way to Robert Hall.
Teddy uh, started out being a priest, and uh, he didn't last too long. And uh, he was a good friend. He lived with my mother. My parents used to take in, and they did it for several years because my mother's health was failing. They would take in a college student. You know, it was a college right up the street. And they would live as part of the family, and all they had to do was vacuum the rug once a week. And, you know, they didn't do any dishes or any of that stuff, and they just were like one of the family. And that was how I met Teddy. He was one of my brother's friends. Uh, most of my songs are written from experiences that happened to me, and this one is, uh, was a proposal of marriage back in the day when anything was possible, or so we thought. And I wanted to go across Canada in the Trans-Canada Railway. It was 125 bucks, and you could ride for a year. And uh, this... Uh, Lady, would you come with me, whether right or wrong? Knowing all I offer you is loving and a song. It ain't much in worldly terms, but it'll have to do. Something better comes along and give it all. Lady, would you leave your friends for a trip across the land? If I should lose my way and stumble, reach out and hold my hand. I know there's those who'd not approve of your running off with me. Put loose rambler reaching after dreams that he can see. Here's all I'm asking, take the road I choose. Nothing for us and staying here, nothing left to lose. Through the long and dreary nights, you keep me from the cold. Together as the years go by, gracefully grow. Lady, my lady, lady, would you come? Lady, my lady, lady, my lady, my love. Yeah, we, thank you. We uh, thought everything was uh, possible and all this kind of stuff, and we lasted about five years. And uh, this song I wrote on the beach in Provincetown, and I was working there in the summer as a lifeguard, and uh, it's called Sarah. It was somebody's medley of their hit. <laughs> they recorded it and never even told me. Sarah, I'll be leaving in the morning I can feel the time is right for me to go When the gray of dawn lights up the shades And the big bend steals your dreams I'll be standing with my suitcase by the road And perhaps the road will lead me Boston, Canada, maybe Mexico. I tried so many times to be the kind of man you need. Just not me and my now I guess you know. And there were many times I tried to tell you Thoughts were there, but not the words to say. 
And I guess at times I might have sensed it But still I hate to be leaving you this way And it's no one's fault as things worked out Worlds are not the same Don't blame yourself when you wake to find me gone I'll be leaving in the morning Feel the time is right for me to go And the times I've spent with you are The happiest I've known I love you but I must be moving on I love you but I must be moving on Most of my songs are written from experience or, and there's a bunch that I haven't finished and I've been writing them for 40 some odd years. <laughs> I'm lazy because I fell into a relationship with a songwriter who lived with my parents doing um, the housework and his name is Jim Polana and he's written hundreds of songs. And uh, so I got lazy because he gave me the right to do anything I want to do with any of his songs. And uh, I'm not playing any of his tonight, but or this afternoon or morning, whatever. It's, it's dark. And uh, this is one that I wrote, and uh, it's a medley of my hit. <laughs> I'm only going to do one verse of it, basically, uh, in the bridge, because it's certainly not prime time suitable. But we, this partner of mine and I, we worked together for 37 years. We played over 3,000 gigs together. And we were playing in a place called Muldoon Saloon. Pretty handy name, right? And it's, now it's called Frida's and it's a jazz club and they have good food. In those days it was a country and western place and the food was maybe bar food if you were lucky. And we were playing there on Sunday afternoons and then we'd go Sunday night to a place called the Long Branch, which was even worse. It's, not, it's a vacant <laughs> lot now. And uh, anyway, they had a teddy bear run. I don't know if you know what that is. The bikies do, they go, they bring teddy bears for kids and stuff like that, and they pay to get in. And after they finished, they stopped at Muldoon's, and there was about 50 of them. And they were all drinking and playing pool, and we were up there playing to nobody because they didn't care. We were up just making noise. And this woman came out of the back room, scantily dressed, at least partially dressed, and she said, hey, you know something cheap and superficial? <laughs> I looked at my partner, and he knew every country song there ever was, and I said, you know that song? And he said, nope. So I said, well. And about that time, this registered gorilla came out of the back room with a pitcher of beer in one hand and a pool cue in the other, and he said, yeah, I know it, don't you? And I said, we do now. <laughs> and I made this up, and this is how it sort of went, and now there's a bunch of verses to it, but it's... Uh, I've been feeling fairly frisky, so I'm out here on the prowl. Yes, the moon is fat and full. It's a real fine night to howl. I'm out looking for some action. I don't need some romance. Something cheap and superficial A one night no string circumstance Well I cruised by this little bistro And I spied you sitting here Might a wine to take my courage up About a half a dozen beers And I'm wearing my beer goggles And you're looking mighty good If you're looking to get lucky Fairly certain that you could Something cheap and superficial That is all I'm looking for I don't want to hear I love you 
You'll be mine forevermore Something cheap and superficial May sound crass Just too superficial To help the empty hours pass Something cheap and superficial Make the empty hours pass There are, thank you, there are five verses to this thing and it, uh, it gets a little questionable. Karen, where are you? Are you hiding out there? I have asked Karen Sauer, who I have met uh, a couple years ago at Rom, and uh, she used to make olive bread. <laughs> she was a lady with the olive bread and I knew nothing about her. I didn't know that she could play piano. I didn't know that she could sing, and it turns out that she can do a whole lot of things and make olive bread. And uh, this is a song that I wrote for my brother on his the occasion of his being drafted. Brother, he's a poet, clever with a pen, drifter and a dreamer, some would claim. Weave a tale or spin a rhyme about places, things, and men, sorrows and the joys. Take a drink to dance in bed Once more let him through Just one time to cast his magic spell Call to mind those other days The pleasures that we knew Wherever you may be I wish you well Some of us are born to win, others born to lose, some to play the prince, some the pawn. Fates will never tell us how the way they pick and choose, cast the roll, let's cast, and then move on. Take a dream to dance in bed Once more let him through Just one time to cast his magic spell Call to mind those other days The pleasures that we knew Wherever you may be I wish you Take a drink to dance in bed Once more let him through Just one time to cast his magic spell Call to mind those other days Pleasures that we knew Wherever you may be I wish you well Somewhere there's a peaceful place no one is in need All live in a passion That is fair Are no rich There are no poor No avarice and greed When we meet again I hope it will be there Take a drink to dance in bed Once more let him through 
just one time to cast his magic spell. Call to mind those other days and the pleasures that we knew. Wherever you may be, I wish you well. Wherever you may be, I wish you well. Thank you. Thanks, Karen. Well, we're going to uh, sort of finish this up with a song that I wrote, and uh, it'll probably be right about on schedule. And if we have a little extra time or whatever, I didn't use it all, that's okay. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them. And this is a song that's <clears throat> called Funny How Life Works Out That Way. It's about my life. It's autobiographical, pretty much. And uh, I grew up in a house that was sort of like Father Knows Best. My father was a colonel in the Army. My mother had worked in the uh, at Pentagon. The colonel took no prisoners. <laughs> I told him to shut up once, and that was a mistake. And when I woke up, <laughs> it was the only time he ever hit me. And uh, our house was a unique place because it was peaceful. There was never, and I can honestly say this, a crossword between my parents. And it could easily have been, but there never was. So everybody came to our house because it was a, a shelter of sorts. And that's what this is all about, and then how your life can change. When I was but a little child, just raised to be both meek and mild. Share with those less fortunate than I. I was sent to church and school, learned to play by all the rules. I was mostly known for asking why. Our house had an open door, able always room for more. Friend or stranger was ever turned away. Mama died and dad died too. The house was sold to someone new. I pray it's still a haven to this day. In the words of a wise man, life's what happens when you other plan. Funny how life works out that way. Life a simple tug of war between good and evil. Does some God keep score? Everything in thought and word and deed. For the righteous ones we often see would force their creeds on you and me, but they bend the holy rules for earthly need. We often hear the pitch man call, just sign here, you can have it all. <laughs> Comes with a lifetime written guarantee. And every time I turn my head, to my dismay instead Nothing in this life is really free In the words of a wise man That's what happens when you've other plans Funny how life works out that way You may find love the rarest kind, one to stand the test of time, 
one that lights up each and every day and come creeping like the dawn the angel band and one is gone the other left alone to find their way in the words of a wise man that's what happens when you've other plans funny how life works out that way so for you who hear this song may your dreams come true and your lives belong love and laughter fill you every day for as the years fly past and you spend your youth your final breath you'll find the truth funny how life works out that way in the words of a wiser man life's what happens when you've other plans funny how life works out that way it ain't funny but life works out that way thank you so much uh, thanks thank you Karen thanks Cheryl thank you all it's been fun about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving because if you do it, your child will too.